News 5's John Kosick with us now live to break it all down. John, this was not all that unexpected. Yeah, all aspects of the economy, Rob, ground to a halt in March. So it stands the reason that tax revenues to the state would as well. The state, as you know, operates on a two-year budget, but each of those years individually has to end balance. Now, through February, things were looking real good, with the state running $200 million ahead of estimates. Today, a little more than two months later, we're $776 million behind. So the $775 million in cuts are as follows. Medicaid, $210 million. K-12 education, $300 million. Higher education, $110 million. And other state agencies, $100 million. That Ohio would cut where they did first for these two months made sense, the governor said, because that's where the money is. The challenge is that when you start cutting budgets, and other governors have found this and legislatures have found this, um, you know, there's some big items in the budget. Medicaid is certainly one. Um, higher education is one. K through 12 is is another. And so when you have to make these cuts, it is very difficult, frankly, to to exempt out any any of those. So the wild card right now, of course, is the one hundred million dollars listed as other state agencies. We do not know what those agencies are. We expect to learn from the state which ones they are tomorrow. Now, John, those are big numbers, no doubt. That said, the state does have nearly three billion dollars in its rainy day fund. Why not use that right now? It's raining. Yeah, the governor, it is raining. It's pouring, as a matter of fact. The governor says you don't want to use that all in one fell swoop. That's kind of what they did back in 2009, and we ended up with a nearly $8 billion hole in the budget the next year. You want to, you want to take the same approach that you're taking with the health care crisis. You want to flatten the curve, spread that out not only over this year, next year, and possibly into the year after that.